In this video, we'll see how to quickly and easily find the transfer function of a system described by a linear difference equation. We'll also see how to go backwards and find the linear difference equation quickly and easily from the system's transfer function. Before I show you the quick and easy inspection method that we will be using, let's derive a useful result that leads to this inspection method. So we're going to start with a linear difference equation that describes a discrete time linear time invariant system. So this is the general form of a difference equation. On the left side, we have all the y terms, which are the outputs of the system. And on the right side, we have all the x terms, which represent the input signals to the system. So we have uh, coefficients. For example, we have a0 times y of n plus a1 times y of n minus 1, plus a2 times y of n minus 2, etc. Those are all the output uh, terms on the left. And then on the right, we have all of the input terms. For example, we have uh, b0 times x of n, plus b1, x of n minus 1, and so on and so on. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to use the time-shifting property of the Z-transform. So in, for the Z-transform, when we have X of N and we take the Z-transform, we get X of Z. Now, X of N minus 1, which means it's been shifted or delayed by 1, results in the exact same transform, X of Z, but we pick up a factor of Z to the minus 1, or 1 over Z. Likewise, if we have X of N minus 2, in other words, it's been shifted or delayed by 2, we have again the same transform x of z, but now we pick up a term of z to the minus 2, or 1 over z squared. And this, um, this pattern repeats for higher um, amounts of delay. So what we can do, use, we can use this time shifting property to take the z transform of our LDE term by term. So let's do that. So for the first term here, we have a0 times y of n, that becomes a0 times y of z. The second term, we have a1 times y of n minus 1. Well, here we're going to use the time shifting property, and we're going to write a1 times z to the minus 1, since we're shifted by 1, times y of z. The next term, we have uh, shifted by 2, so we have a2 times z to the minus 2 times y of z, and we repeat this um, as much as we need to, depending on how many terms are on the left side of our difference equation up here. All right, so then we can do the same thing over on the right side with the x's. We have b0 times x of n, that becomes b0 times x of z. b1 x of n minus 1 is shifted by 1, so we have b1 z to the minus 1 times x of z, and so on and so on. All right, at this point, what we've got here is just an algebraic expression. And notice on the left side, every term has the same y of z. y of z here, and this term has a y of z, and so forth. So what we can do is on the left, we can factor out that y of z, which is common in every term. And what's left are just the coefficients, the a0, a1, a2, and so forth, multiplied by the time shift um, factors. The a1 has a z to the minus 1, a2 has a z to the minus 2, and so on. Likewise, on the right side, we do the same thing. We can factor out x of z from every term, and what remains are the coefficients of the x terms, b0, b1, z of minus 1, b2, z to the minus 2, etc. Finally, we can write our transfer function, h of z. So recall from our previous video, that h of z, the transfer function, is defined as the ratio of y of z, the output, to x of z, the input. So this is just simple algebra. We have this um, relationship up here, and we can divide both sides by x of z to get y of z over x of z. And then we have to divide by all of these um, a coefficients over here um, and put them underneath the b coefficients here to result uh, to get our final result here. So we have the transfer function is a uh, ratio of two polynomials in Z. Notice on the top, we have the B coefficients. Remember that the B coefficients are associated with the X term.
terms in the original difference equation. And then on the bottom in the denominator, we have the A coefficients, which are associated with the Y terms over here on the left side. So um, we just have to be careful that we don't make the mistake. The transfer function is Y over X, but these coefficients, these are the X coefficients divided by the Y coefficients. What we're gonna do now is use this result to come up with a very simple and quick method to write the transfer function by simple inspection of these coefficients. So we'll do that on the next slide. All right, so let's uh, do a couple of examples where we're gonna find the transfer function from the um, difference equation using the inspection method. So suppose we're given this difference equation here, 2y of n minus two minus 4y of n minus one plus three y of n equals five x of n minus one minus two x of n. So what we do here is remember that the um, x coefficients over here on the right side, they're gonna go on top. So this five here, we're gonna put right here on the top. And remember, this is a delay of one. So we pick up a z to the minus one. This negative two, remember there's a minus sign there, is gonna go here. So we have minus two, and this is just x of n. So there's no z uh, factor. There's no time shift here. So that's our numerator, just by inspection. To do the denominator, it's just as quick and easy. We look at these coefficients. Here's a two associated with a delay of two. So we have two times z to the minus two. Here's a negative four minus four with a delay of one. So that becomes minus four z to the minus one. And then we have three y of n that becomes three by itself. So you can see these coefficients simply match uh, uh, the difference equation up here. Um, this, uh, this might be as much as we need to do here. This is a, um, a valid form of the transfer function h of z. But um, if we don't like all these negative exponents, that's easy to clean up. What we do is look for the basically the lowest power of z here. So notice we have a z to the minus two. We can multiply every term on the top and the bottom by z squared. And we get for this first term, this becomes five z. This becomes minus two z squared. And on the bottom, we get two minus four z plus three z squared. And this is a, a little cleaner version of the transfer function. All right, here's another um, example. Um, so suppose we're given a, a system that has a difference equation given by y of n minus three plus two y n minus one minus y of n equals four x of n minus two minus seven x of n. So the transfer function, again, we're just gonna write this by direct inspection. On the top, remember, we use the x terms. This first term here gives us a four z to the minus two because of it's delayed by two. And then this just becomes minus seven. On the bottom, the denominator, uh, this first term, notice it's delayed by three. That gives us a z to the minus three plus two z to the minus one minus one all by itself, all right? And so again, if we want to clean this up and get rid of the negative exponents, notice that our lowest power here is z to the minus three. So I'm just gonna multiply every term, uh, numerator and denominator by z cubed. So this top term here becomes four z minus seven z cubed. And on the bottom, we end up with one plus two z squared minus z cubed. Now, the next thing we can do is um, work backwards. We can start with a transfer function for a system, and we can just as quickly and easily write the, dif uh, the difference equation uh, for that system. So uh, for example, suppose we're given a system's transfer function, h of z is um, two z to the minus one plus one over z squared minus three z to the minus one minus four. And our goal here is to write the, um, this should be difference equation, sorry for that, write the difference equation that de describes the system. So all we do here is use the same rules that we used in the last two examples and work backwards. So if you wanna start on the, uh, well, let's start on the, the bottom here since this is going to be uh, the terms on the left side. These are the y terms. So z to the minus two, that gives us y to the n minus two minus three z to the minus one gives us minus three y n minus one. 
and then minus four just gives us minus four y to the n. On the right side are our x terms, which come from the numerator. So two z to the minus one gives us two x n minus one. And uh, plus one just gives us plus x of n. And there we have it. We have a, a very, uh, we've quickly um, and directly determined the difference equation for this system from this transfer function. Let's look at one more example. This one's just a little different. Um, so we're suppose we're given the transfer function in this form, which is um, quite common. We're given h of z is, um, notice it's in a factored form here. We have z minus five over z minus three times z plus four. And um, our goal again is to come up with a, a linear difference equation for this system. So um, we have to just do a little bit of work here to get this in a form where we can use our inspection method. So the first thing we can do is in the uh, denominator, let's go ahead and expand this out, foil it out. So we have z squared plus z minus 12 in the denominator. And then the next step is we have to work with negative powers of z in order to use the time shifting property. So um, these are all positive powers of z. So the trick here is simple. We divide by the highest power of z. So just by looking at the, all the factors of z here, we see that z squared is our highest power of z. So all we do is divide every term by z squared. So the z here becomes z to the minus one, minus five becomes minus five z to the minus two. The z squared down here becomes one. This z becomes z to the minus one. And finally, the minus 12 becomes minus 12 z to the minus two. Now we have this in a form where we can just simply by inspection write our difference equation. So starting in the denominator, the one gives us a y of n. z to the minus one gives us one times y of n minus one. Minus 12 z to the minus two gives us minus 12 y n minus two. And then we can go to the right side, which is in the uh, numerator of our transfer function. Z to the minus one leads to X of N minus one. And then minus five times Z to the minus two gives us minus five times X to the N minus two. And there is our linear difference equation that describes a system with this given transfer function here.